bye. I want to make it a question and answer. No, no, no. We already know what is happening. Wow. So, uh, well, the announcement is yes, yes, that's all right. Yes, sure. That is a statement that can tear this country apart, if not uh, considered by the relevant authorities. Somalia is a peace-loving people. We've got campus on our side as well. We've never talked ill about any community. Kenya belongs to millions of, of us. We can live anywhere. There is no territorial boundary for any person to be confined to. We are saying that what that member of parliament said can create this harmony, which is not good for anyone, particularly at this time when there is droughts ravaging lives of both livestock and human. He wasn't supposed to talk like that. We are telling the member of parliament to withdraw that statement unconditionally so that people continue to coexist. I think it was a very reckless statement uh, that will incite uh, the peace and the harmony uh, between the communities to the agencies, NCIC, DCI. I think uh, the arrogance uh, of Hon Mumbai should be tamed. Uh, if anything happens to the animals and uh, the resultant uh, reaction, uh, God forbid, then Honorable Mumbai should be held responsible. His utterances were uncalled for. He is a leader. He should not instigate ethnicity. I think right now the whole world we are facing a calamity. There is drought ravaging the livelihoods of pastoral communities. And pastoral communities who are living in Kenya are free to go anywhere where they can get pasture for their livestock. The constitution guarantees us we are not violating any rights, so we want to warn categorically the honourable member to desist from such kind of utterances and to preach peace and coexistence. And when we get the rains that we are expecting, we will move unconditionally. 